Next and last bar is the orange bourbon pecan. I'm excited about this one. Thankfully, you don't see anything here, but down below is water. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm totally getting super excited about this chocolate that I now have a water stain on my shirt that you can't see. Hey everybody, it's Glenn from Choco Tastery, and today I'm bringing you an awesome unboxing of some goodies from Dick Taylor Chocolate. We have a box here, ready to go. Oh yeah. So now we are going to open up our box from Dick Taylor. I blacked out my address so nobody could um, you know, send me any um, bad things. Um, but if you want to send me some chocolate, just shoot me an, an email, glenn at chocolatastery.com. Um, so with that being said, I'm opening this box. Uh, we're going to do that. Fancy knife. Only the, the, the true unboxers have knives. All right. Cool. <laughs> This is <laughs> Icefax, pretty good stuff. Thank you. First thing is first, we'll put that here. Um, we have dark chocolate cold almonds. Um, so this is 65% from Belize. Um, I'm gonna open these up and I'm gonna taste them right here. I've been dying to, uh, to taste these for a while. Um, so there's almonds, cacao, cane sugar, which is organic, organic cocoa butter, and cocoa powder. Um, yeah, we'll do that in a second. The coolest thing that they just released, they've been aging some nibs in whiskey barrels. And these are Brazil nibs. So we're have a little Brazil theme going on within the first two products here. But this is the... Uh, limited release straight bourbon whiskey and boom right there on the zoom camera um, so I'm gonna just jump into this in a moment but we also got another Belize uh, micro batch bar it is the um, the smoked almond and sea salt oh yeah I love my almonds so throw that up on the uh, zoomed camera. I'm just going to open this up. Um, we have a cool little notch there on both sides. So you just open it up like that. And ooh, so we're going to just go right in there. There you go. Come on. You can see you want one. All right. So you have, you look like cocoa beans, actually. You put it up there. All right. Mm. It's pretty good, it's tough. Hmm. But yeah, these are pretty good. More like a snack for me, but getting down to real flavor profile you hit with a cocoa powder it's a little bit bitter as you do let it melt you're getting the the, the little fruity notes coming through on the belize chocolate and the almonds you know it's one of my favorite um nuts to snack on it sounds so dirty <laughs> hey chocolate coated almonds uh, definitely pick it up because this is the great snack. A pound will last maybe like a week and then you have to buy more because because uh, COVID. All right. My bougie glass of water. It's actually a wine glass that I'm using for water. So I'm in a chocolate mood. 
I really want to try this uh, straight bourbon bar. So let's head into it. <clears throat> I had some uh, almonds stuck in my throat. <laughs> All right, so, so here's what's up with this straight bourbon whiskey bar. Um, <coughs> oh, whoo. We began by aging cocoa nibs in Alchemy Distillery straight bourbon whiskey barrels for five months. Once fully aged, we <clears throat> Once, you, once age, we use these delicious nibs to create a 70% dark chocolate bar, only adding cocoa butter and king sugar. The resulting bar is amazing, robust, and complex with pronounced oak and bourbon flavors. A true one-of-a-kind tasting experience. That's awesome. That's awesome. And so um, it's Bolt um, Academy Distillery right there. Um, check them out. I'll leave the links below. So, there you go on the zoom camera. It is quite light uh, in color. But you can see. There you go. All right, well, I'm going in. Ooh, it's a loud snap there. You probably heard it all the way wherever you are, whatever country you are in. All right. Ooh. Made some interesting notes. But there is that like bourbony aroma. All right, I'm going in. I gotta say, wow, you're really getting the the oak underlying tone, but you're also getting that whiskey is so like a fresh whiskey. You're getting that experience, but without the burn in your throat. That's great. I love this. And it's like balanced, it's not overly strong at all. Wow. With these oak and bourbon flavors, which is really fantastic. Mm. And some of the, the uh, I'm getting a little astringency as well. The bright flavors from the Belize, I'm getting like the red fruit notes. Yeah, there's like that acidity is not overpowering the oaky bourbon notes. Um, it's quite well balanced, actually. Pretty great experience. I'm glad I, I got it. Also wanted to try the micro batch, smoked almond and sea salt. I'm guessing that it's the same almonds that we just had, but in this fabulous bar. So this was micro batch number 23. September is often one of the loveliest months of the year on the Pacific North Coast. All the summer is behind us. The warm fall nights continuously coax us into just one more barbecue. Much like Chava, making a really good barbecue, me barbecue meal is something that can't be rushed. Something of the best, some of the best barbecue is cooked at low temperatures for a painstakingly long time. It is in that same spirit that we have created September's Club. Using the experience of our in-house pitmaster Joe Durkin, we hickory smoked organic California almonds for three hours. The aroma and flavor of the almonds themselves are, is exceptional. We added them in our 65 Belize dark chocolate, which creates an even deeper, more complex flavor profile. A final dash of smoked sea salt graces the back of each bar, offering a balanced, savory, sweet, savory finish. Make sure you have one of these bars as an after dinner treat the next time you grill in your backyard. Or if you don't have a backyard, just use your kitchen, grill, do whatever, and then enjoy it. We're going in. All right. So we have our a bar, but look, ooh, ah, ooh, ah, right up close there. All right, so we're going in, we're gonna break a piece. Not as loud of a snap, but obviously there's a lot going on in this. So um, we have an array of things going on, as you can see. This is up close and personal. Yeah, I said you could see the salt, you could see the almonds. Yeah, this is a, <laughs> this is quite a close. You can almost eat it. Eat it, eat it, eat it. Okay, no, I'm gonna eat it. Wow. 
<laughs> Damn. All right. <laughs> I give up. I give up. I can't do this. Wow. All right. First off, pause the video, go get your bar at their shop online. I'll leave a link below, just get it. Imagine as a kid, you get one of those Lay's barbecue bags of chips and you pop it open and you start eating the whole bag. This is the same experience. I literally was just moved back to my childhood eating barbecue Lay's chips. That it's simple as that. The barbecue from the Pitmaster Joe is phenomenal. You get the nutty notes from the almonds, but like that barbecue is, that smoke is insane. <laughs> wow. And then you have that like salty note at the, in the back end. You really don't get that much of the Belize fruitiness. It's there, but um, you're there for the smoke. You're there for that barbecue. This is kind of like, you should totally sit on a couch, put on some TV and snack on this bar. I'm, I don't know, I don't have any other suggestion other than to do that in that order. Buy the bar, snuggle up on a couch, turn on the TV and then enjoy the bar. And there's no shame in if you eat the entire bar at one sitting, no judgment. You could snack on it, but make sure like you focus and enjoy each flavor and the hard work that everybody put into it from the farmers in Belize all the way to the chocolate makers and Joe smoking and doing his thing with uh, barbecue wood. I do have some other goodies in here. Let's see what is here. Oh, ho, 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 ho. So shout outs to Brienne. Um, nice little card, little note. I'm not gonna show you the note because it's personal and private. No, she just said thank you for sharing my last uh, review, um, which I thoroughly enjoyed of the uh, milk chocolate bars. There'll be a link somewhere above me, uh, somewhere where you could watch that review. All right, so the first thing in here is peppermint drinking chocolate, 72% Madagascar. Damn it, <laughs> it's green, so we'll put it on this screen. <laughs> All right, my green screen doesn't like it. <laughs> a rich and velvety European style drinking chocolate. We're just gonna add some milk. I like almond milk. You can like regular milk, skim milk, 1%, 2%, oat milk, whatever milk you want, whatever milk, no judgment. But um, but this is gonna be pretty awesome. I can't wait to, uh, to make one. It makes seven servings. Maybe I'll do a little video afterwards where I actually do a little taste test. All right, and here we have another one, another drinking chocolate with 72 Belize. Easy to use, make seven servings as well. Um, yeah. So I may in, engage in making another drinking chocolate this week. They will soon. All right, so we did get another straight up bourbon whiskey bar. So that's Doubly good because I really enjoy that one. But guys, this is exciting. I hope you're sitting down and watching and waiting. There's uh, two seasonal releases. This one is a 55% milk chocolate bar. It is with obviously Alexander Family Farms A2A2 milk. Big shout out to them. They use their 55% Brazil, as in the Camboa, Brazil, uh, milk chocolate. And ready? Whoop. Ginger snap milk chocolate. I got the chills. I got the chills. All right, this is gonna be pretty interesting. I'm looking forward to uh, tasting it. The next one, ho oh, oh, ho oh, oh. ho. They played red with almonds, but now they're, uh, they're doing something fancy with the 65 Belize dark. This here, my friends, orange bourbon pecan. Booyah! This is exciting. So they, uh, they're they adding some pecans and maple syrup and bourbon and orange essential oil to this. Wow. It's gonna be like bourbon pecan pie. 
Um, so that, there's your uh, your little view of that in the back. Uh, I'm just gonna drink a little water and then get into this ginger snap one. All right. Ding. All right, so this is a 55% milk. So some things we're looking for, obviously will be a little bit lighter in, in color. Um, a nice dairy note. And then the burst of ginger snap. Showed off, it is a nice light brown color. Same gray shine mold and pretty decent snap for an inclusion bar. Wow, it's a lot going on there. Totally getting the, the milk dairy note, the A2A2 dairy note, because I'm growing to know and, and appreciate. A little spice, like a ginger spice. So the ingredients are chocolate with the whole milk powder, cocoa butter, vanilla bean, the ginger snap cookies, which they also put in molasses, brown sugar, sugar eggs, ginger, cinnamon, baking soda, salt, nutmeg, allspice, white pepper, and cayenne. Wow, that sounds really good. All right, let's go in for it. I can't hold that anymore. Ooh. Totally reminiscent of your ginger snap cookies. The little cinnamon action, the allspice, gives it a nice like warm flavor. But you're also getting the dairy notes. If you go and watch the hazelnut and the vanilla milk chocolate bar videos, you'll get the same experience of like the richness of the milk and how it, it affects the chocolate tasting experience for, for the milk chocolate bars. Those spices are like not so much refined in. They're actually there, you can see. You could definitely taste some of those spices in it, those cookies. That warmth is coming from that nutmeg, definitely. I'm not getting that much spice, like cayenne spice. I think the cinnamon comes through pretty, pretty much. Yeah. I should also say that they're partnering with Crunchy Ginger Snaps Cookie Bits from Bunches and Bunches. Duh, how did I miss that? Because it's right there. Bunches and bunches. Shout outs to them. I'll put their their info in the, the description. Overall, great, great experience. Next and last bar is the orange bourbon pecan. I'm excited about this one. Thankfully, you don't see anything here, but down below is water. Oh yeah. <laughs> Totally getting super excited about this chocolate that I now have a water stain on my shirt that you can't see. <laughs> All right, so we'll keep that there as I open it up. Let's see what we're going to be able to expect. So it's a 65% dark bar. Um, I just put my fingerprint on it. So yeah, amateur move. All right, so either way, nice shine. Um, and in the back, you can see there's some fun stuff going on. So when we break it, you can see that there's stuff going on. So let's let's read about it. Bourbon soaked pecans are candied with maple syrup and orange and paired with 65% Belize Happy Holidays from Dick Taylor. So I'm gonna just jump right in. Maple sugar, pecans, bourbon, orange, essential oil. Wow. All right. Mm. I see what you guys did there. Mm -hmm. That is taking that orange ball of chocolate orange thing with the slices that you break off that old school thing and you just put it into a, a Dick Taylor bar. You don't need to break it and spend time fiddling around with it. No, you just put it into a bar and then you, uh, you make sure there's orange, bourbon, and pecans in it. And it's fantastic. The melt was quicker. I think the orange is the most prominent note. The bourbon sneaks up on you. The pecans provide that texture. I always like texture in my bars, especially inclusion bars. So orange, bourbon, pecan. Definitely check it out. I'm going to do a final review. So we have these. Grab your bars today. 
get your drinking chocolate for the winter months. Um, you got to. Um, it's the only way we'll survive as chocolate enthusiasts. I mean, that's it. Uh, I'm going to put all the links to all of these bars below. Thank you all for joining. I'll do any other type of unboxing you want. Uh, if there's any chocolate maker bars or any type of collections coming up for the holidays that you want to see me unbox and give my feedback and watch my zany antics here, leave a comment below, send me a message, glenn at chocolatastery.com. Boom, go to chocolatastery.com, chocolatastery.shop. I have some bars up there for sale. Um, hit me up on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, all at chocolatastery. You got it, all right. Until next time, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you soon. Peace.